live broadcast today with Josh Butcher from The Real Producers Magazine here in Philadelphia. Josh, thank you so much for taking the time to come on today and speak to all of our friends and uh, business associates here. Welcome. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. I'm honored. Uh, you're so sweet. How, how, are you, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm, keep, I'm keeping busy, staying the course, you know. Um, I'm coming up on one year in my new business here with Philadelphia Real Producers Magazine. So the whole year has been a whirlwind. Um, so I'm kind of used to, you know, rolling with the punches. So um, making the best well, of it. It's been a year. That's great. Well, congratulations on all your success. Thank um, you. We were so lucky that you asked of me to be in that magazine um, just a couple months after you started. And I'm, I've been following you and everything you've been doing. So um, it looks like it's really grown a lot. How are you, how are you dealing with everything that's <laughs> coming on? Are you, are you well, is your family well? Yeah, everybody's well. I check in on my grandmom often. She's down Cape May courthouse, just staying to herself, you know, uh, staying safe and healthy. Everybody's good. My brother's in Afghanistan right now. I don't get to hear from him much, but he's a strong guy. So I'm sure he's fine. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good to see, um, everybody that I know in good health. I know the, the seriousness of the situation out there is really wild. Um, these aren't just numbers we're seeing on the, on the news. These are people's lives, you know, so can't stress the importance enough of, of staying in the house, but we're going to talk a lot about what you could do while in the house today. Right. You know, yes, we are. <laughs> Have you been staying in? Yeah. I mean, like. I, I'm used to having a whole list of things to do every day, running around constantly. You and me both. But right now, it's maybe one thing. Maybe I, I went to the post office today, and I um, went to the drive through at the bank. You know, now it's just little things like that, just to take care of your business, get out of the house. And, it, hey, as little as it is, it's, it's still being productive. But for the majority, I'm here. I'm here. That's great. So how has this changed your business um, in the last few weeks? Yeah, it's a, it's interesting because obviously when you're running a magazine, you have to have your photographers running around handling the photo shoots. And with the um, stay at home protocols, the, the photographers aren't, aren't legally allowed to go out and, and do these photo shoots right now. With the April 10th deadline, with no um, pictures in place for the May issue, I had to get creative. So I realized that May, May is the one year anniversary of the magazine. So I'm gonna do a one year in review and tie in every feature that's been in the magazine over the last year and make it really cool. It's gonna be a very popular issue. That's a great idea. So <laughs> we'll get to all be in it again. Yeah, you will be. <laughs> yeah, so I can't, I can't wait. Give new pictures. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then we're, um, we're, like I said, it's all about getting creative right now. What about like a June quarantine issue? Maybe I'll get photos from the top 500 real estate agents, what their life situation looks like right now, which could be really funny or, or scary. Um, but, um, you know, get a little journal entry and just it's all about for me is bringing the elite real estate community of Philadelphia closer together. So I don't need to know everybody in the world or every city across the country, but I like my lane here in Philly and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So that brings us to our next uh, point of discussion. What do you think are some of the things that that you're doing or that agents can do to stay productive during this time? What's your take on all of it? Because you know what yeah, my I, mean, I know what your take is. You're like me, you know. Um, it starts with mindset, right? Before you before you talk about what you could be doing or should be doing, I think you need the right mindset. I feel like we've been quarantined about like two weeks now. I think everybody's rested up, ready to go. If you want to curl up in the fetal position and stay in bed for the next month or two, you're going to come out of it just fine. You'll, you'll be just fine when this all clears up, but you're going to be behind though. <coughs> There's a lot of people out there, you know, stay in the course, elevating their business, finding ways to stay busy and productive. Um, so if you have the right mindset and you're ready to focus up and get started today, you know, you got to man up, you got to woman up, you got to uh, kind of be strong and be a leader today if you expect to level up your, your real estate business. So kind of, you know, 
my motto is always be cool. Don't let them see you sweat. It's a stressful situation, but we kind of got to just play the cards that were dealt here. You know, like it, it is what it is. This is where we're at. Um, this is the new normal, at least for the next, you know, 30 to 60 days. Whatever happens after that, it's going to happen. And it'll get back to relatively normal, but it's, it's something you got to keep up with, you know, and not let it wear you down and, and, uh, you know, dig a hole for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I think the most important thing right now is making sure, number one, that you stay healthy, your family stays healthy, and everybody's safe. Mm -hmm. After that, you know, some of the things that we've been doing is, one, on downtime, which actually I've had very little. I don't know about you, but I've been putting in, I'd say, 14-hour days, um, 12 to 14. And just because I'm looking at what's going on in the national landscape, following um what other you know what uh, agents are doing brokers are doing from a national standpoint and adopting very quickly i think now is the time that you know they say the fit facebook is up 52 percent on eyeballs so right. now is the time that whatever business you're in whether you're an agent or in mortgage or title or you know in skincare getting in front of people online is key working on your marketing, working on your message, reaching out to the people that you already know that like and trust you, seeing how they're doing. You know, it's not the time to sit on your couch and watch TV for sure. A hundred percent. Like I, I think it's exactly, it's the, it's time to do the actual opposite of that. And that means if you were already operating at a hundred percent, that's doubling down. And if you were only doing 25 or 50 percent, then that's doing four times or eight times more right now. In order to stay relevant, in order to um, actually be able to hit the ground running when the ban does lift, I mean, we're still a non-essential business in Pennsylvania. Uh, last night they lifted the ban on New York, so they are now real estate is now essential. Okay. Uh, New Jersey is essential. Other states are essential. So. It's yet to be seen what's going to happen in PA, but um, some of the things we've been doing is working on with our clients and uh, the listings, getting the listings ready to go um, so that when people are able to go back out and show property, there's they have there's listings to show. Right. Um, yeah, I know you've talked to a lot of people. So what are you hearing, Josh, from your end, that some advice that you could give to the community? Yeah, I mean, I think all we have right now is time. You know, we have more time than we've ever had in my memory. I've been um, working since I was 14 years old, always had a job. And, you know, like, that's what you did. You always running around working, but now you have, like, you know, you're at home. You're. Um, what were you doing then? What did you, what were you doing when you were 14? I was a pot washer. I worked for a, um, a, a catering hall with, you know, four, four rooms going and, you know, I would, I would be back there washing dishes and pots, you know, but um, it's like, I, I think but everybody has to start somewhere, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, like passion, hard work. <laughs> right. Right. And no, no steps backwards. It's always constantly a little, little step forward every day. It'll get you somewhere, you know, eventually. Um, but yeah, I, I think about back to those days where it wasn't just washing dishes. It was picking up like roadkill in the parking lot. It was tarring the roofs. It was like digging ditches for sprinkler systems and like, I've been in worse situations. I'm not, I'm not stressing right now. I'm focusing up, I'm staying the course. And, um, you know, like, like I said about time, I think there's time to watch Tiger King or like Ozarks and, and, get, and have some outlets for entertainment and relaxation, obviously. But think about all the rest of the time that you're just going to have at your house. A, th a good thing to uh, think about. For like? Everyone's talking about this Tiger King. I haven't watched either. You'll, you'll get to it eventually. You'll, you I know. To. Well, first things first was stabilizing the business, right? Making sure yeah. financially yeah. that we're solvent and that we'll be able to ride the storm. So that's why yeah. I had so many long days. It's not like I'm sitting there, you know, going on listing appointments. It's yeah. really focusing on making sure that we have everything we need from a financial standpoint and making some decisions that needed to be made and quickly uh, executing on that. So I hope that I have a little more free time this week. I have books that I'm reading and I really want to get them finished. Yeah, that's uh, it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, 
I feel good. You know, like you definitely got to take care of, of uh, the, sh the house. You know, I, I paid all my staff today. My whole team's taken care of. I feel really good about that. <clears throat> and now we're just, we're just, you know, keeping, keeping at it. Um, I, I did a, I do like little projects and little campaigns to help my business, whether it be like a social media campaign, sharing picture quotes of past features and real producers or um, sending out surveys. This is a good time to get testimonials and Google reviews for your business. Go on a whole campaign like that. Find ways to stay at top of mind for your whole network. Be like a beacon of positivity and light. Don't try to get Be involved with politics. Right now. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? So. It's, it's time to step up and be a leader. If you're an entrepreneur, a real estate agent, um, this is the stuff that we were kind of built for. And if you're bored right now, you're probably not an entrepreneur. I, you know, you, you don't get bored. You know? you know what's interesting? I don't even feel like it's wor I'm working. No, me neither. No. Yeah, I got I, music going, you know, just. It's normal. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I didn't know. I'm not sure exactly yet how to explain it. I also decided this morning, just about an hour ago, it finally dawned on me. You've been to my office, right? Several yeah. times. So you saw that big setup I had? Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I think yep. I just said, I don't really need that anymore. I can work from my house. Yeah. I don't want to give up all that space. Think about, so that think about all the commercial real estate owners. that that They're having nightmares about that same conversation. People realizing they don't need all that space, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll keep our, we're going to keep no, it. No, of course, feet, of course. Yeah. Now it's more room for other people. Yeah, yeah. Right? Sure. So yeah. we can, we're going to rearrange everything. In fact, I'll, before the band, by the time the band's lifted, all my crap will be out of there. It'll be like a whole new thing happening. Are so you gonna keep Hoagie Friday, I hope. Yeah, we're going to, you know what? We Our plan was actually first Friday is tomorrow. Yeah. And our plan was to do um, happy hour. But since we're not, um oh, obviously in the office <laughs> i was thinking with my staff i said should we do a virtual happy hour um you know we've been okay. we've really have been working like day to day almost hour to hour like okay we have to do you know it i don't even know how to say it we're getting the information so quickly yeah. at us and we have to move so quick and it's not like we can plan out oh let's have this um, our be the solution email that goes out to everybody. Well, that's in real time. We're not yeah. writing that a week before. Right. We're working on tomorrow's be the solution email right now, today. Because I love your emails, by the way. You do? They're, they're awesome. They're, they're short to the point that you, you give me a heads up on a lot of good deals. I wind up sharing them with other people. So keep it up. Yeah. Oh, good. You're, you got the deal of the day ones. Yeah, yep. they're good. Yep. That's all of our like investment stuff, all of our retail stuff. We, you know, that goes right up, that goes into the market, but the investment stuff is different and yep. we do commercial as well. So we're busy with that. I mean, the clients are all of our, our regular clients, meaning investors, they all want to know, you know, obviously what's going on. They all want to talk about real estate. When we're talking with our consumer clients, we do not yep. bring up real estate at all. Like that yep. is, unless they're active and then we're saying here's what we're doing we sold josh our first house yesterday uh yep. virtually with nobody seeing it congratulations so i got a couple of marketing agreements out right now based off of um sales appointments via zoom so i'm excited that's good yeah that's great one yep. of our one of uh our great agents lisa s she actually put it together she worked really hard for three days um like she, literally she's like i just did two weeks of real estate in three days i'm like well that's why that's because you're that's you're, awesome. you're, you're committed if you, if you could do it once you could do it a thousand times so that's good she's committed to, to doing taking the action um and it, it's it's really interesting to see you know people are making a joke like if you found your spouse online you could buy your find your house online oh, yeah yeah i saw that that's good you go yeah. whatever, but I said something like that. Yeah, and, yeah I saw. It. Yeah, I didn't. I never thought about it that way, but it's it's a fact. <laughs> but we can, and I think it's going to be the new norm for a little while, anyway. And there's yep. you know, there's so much that we can do uh, behind the scenes. I'm thinking about all the new marketing tools that we could be using, and you know, we've been doing the 3D virtual streaming live tours walkthroughs since August. 
because we yep. invested in that camera, so we were a little ahead of we were ahead of that. Right. Um, but there's lots of other things that can be done. And I know you're you're, you're all about the micro commitments, and I love I love that topic because that could that could be a whole you hour right there. That? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I have one sheet of paper right here. It's on it's on a clipboard, and is that oh, your daily? It's not even my daily. It's my weekly week oh. week of, week of March thirtieth. You know, I used to do it daily, but now that I'm sitting at the house, days kind of just like blend together and just run on. So I suggest just getting one piece of computer paper and literally just write this stuff down that you know you're, you should be doing. And whether or not it gets done right there in that in that five minutes you're thinking about it, which is ideal, at least write it down. So now you have all these little things that you, you need to do. And like you always say, just, just chip away at that and give you give yourself credit for Chip, chipping things off that list that keeps you going. It makes you, it makes you feel good, right? Because you said, yeah. oh, I got that done. Oh, I got that done. And then you're like, People, wow, I, did, I really did accomplish a lot. We do a start of the day yep. on an end of the day. We do it on in written form as well as yep. on Zoom. So we meet every morning at 8, 8, 8, and then at 5.30 to recap what's going on. Because we don't, what we do is very time is of essence. So yep. we want to make sure that we're connected. Plus, we're so used to seeing each other all day long. Mm -hmm. so I yep. think it's important to still have that, uh, you know, face-to-face -face interaction as much as we can. Yep. Um, are you doing a lot of Zoom calls with your clients, your your partners, your business partners for the magazine? Yes, of course. Partners, um, realtors, um, prospective clients. Um, I'm a, I'm adapting the same way. I would if it was, you know, the old normal right now. Um, and and thinking towards the future and planning for the future, you know, like that's a, a task in his own is just lining up your plays, just line up those power moves so that when this thing lifts, you have everything in place ready to roll and you don't have to catch up. You know, I got my second quarter Philadelphia Real Producers Magazine event locked in. It's 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 a go. Where is it be? Um, I don't want to say yet. I don't okay. Know. What? Yeah. I don't, I don't even want to get the get the buzz out just yet because it's not really appropriate to, to even people don't want to talk about events right now, you know. Yeah. But I, I I want to have. Oh, it. I really miss them. <laughs> I know. <everybody. laughs> so uh, I I make a joke. I said, you know, I basically um, I'm a business development. That's what I do. I meet with people. I put I connect people together. That's yeah. in every business across the board. It's not just real estate. You know, connecting people to accountants and bankers and. Yeah. Um, you know, success. Yeah, hairdressers, whatever. I mean, everything. Yeah. So I, go, I go to coffee, lunch, dinners, drinks. Yep. I'm always out. And I haven't, I've been at home since the 21st of March. You'll enjoy going out that much better. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll be a good feeling. We've had every meal home, every meal home cooked at my home. Apartment's never, my apartment's never been this clean. I've never cooked so much in my life. I don't know. It's, it's different. You know? Yeah. Did you find any new? Did you find any new recipes that you like? I stick to what I know. You know. Yeah. You know. You pasta, to pasta, pasta, chicken, rice. Okay. You know? Yeah. Just nothing. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I made homemade chicken noodle soup the other day. A big hearty uh, pot of it. That was nice. Yeah, we've made some new chicken dishes because how much grilled chicken can one eat? True. Yeah. I, I got barbecue chicken coming up tomorrow. What? <laughs> You have chicken? Barbecue, yeah. Oh, barbecue chicken. Mix, that's mix it up a little bit. That's yeah. good. So what do you think our, our agent friends need to hear right now? What advice would you give them coming from your side of the business? I think this is like a, um, a, a game day situation where you really need to focus up and gain market share or at least maintain your market share because this is a time where like a lot of other moves are being made you know, small, um, small companies might get bought out by larger companies. Prominent real estate agents might take over for part-time agents who, who can't hang. Um, it's almost like trimming the fat all around in, in a way. I mean, I mean, like in all different types of businesses, if you're ambitious and you're a go-getter and you want to get somewhere in life it's 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 in situations like this where you, where you kind of step up to the plate and and gain market share pick up what you what you can take care of your 
your clients, your your paying clients, um, money, mo income producing activities. You know what I mean? Fo focus on income producing activities. Take care of your clients and your people, and um, just just kind of get ready to turn it up a little bit. It, it's go time. I read an article yesterday that once they lifted the ban in China, that the real estate market, excuse me, market tripled. Really? I heard the divorce rate tripled too. <laughs> Not tripled. It went, it went up though. All co cooped up in the house, you know, but yeah, that, that's crazy. It's going to, it's going to open People the floodgates. Like. Ways, right? Yeah. Get uh, closer or you right. get further. We're doing right. well. We're getting closer. <laughs> How's Chip? He's great. Good, good, good. Tell him yeah. I we're um. He says my wife, all she does is work. <laughs> but that's gonna um. After this week, I hopefully I can just take a little bit of time to relax. I just had to make sure that we got. You know, we couldn't close properties and virtually until last week. Right, right, right. So we were yeah. waiting for the state to lift that and allow mobile notaries um, and to close virtually. That was a big thing. I mean, we had a lot of pending transactions that, you know, cl we had clients that their stuff could be sitting on a moving truck if we didn't close that file. Yeah. We had transactions that we moved up. Um, we had some big transactions that were a lot of, of heavy lifting, a lot of paperwork, a lot of moving parts that um, my staff, <clears throat> Joan and Dara work really hard in getting completed. So there was a lot of work that we had. I mean, and we came up just to the end of the month. So there was a lot in the- Sounds pretty essential to me. Hmm? It sounds pretty essential to me. The sooner the PA recognizes that, you know? Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, look- It's important, you got people, people, your, people's lives, people at people's houses, you know? It's, it's very, very important. If people are moving here to relocate, because of a job, yeah. you know, or they, they're already sold their house and they have to find a house. Like that's the worst part. I sold my house, but I can't find a house because you can't show me a house. So how do we sell houses that way and focusing on everything virtual, having a lot of conversations with a lot of people, you know, it's even, it's important now than ever, you know, you're calling the listing agent, you're reaching out saying, Okay, well, because from our standpoint as listing brokers, we'll do whatever we can to make sure that we can get the clients in that house if they want to go. Um, right. Or, you know, through, through a 3D walkthrough or whatever and provide them. the One of the things that we're doing is we're putting a new listing in. I think it's going in tomorrow. But we have the home seller is going to walk through people through um, on the phone as a walk. A visual walkthrough. There you go. Well, yeah, while we're on the phone, they can actually walk through the property. So real estate can't. You just have to be creative. Look, people always have to buy and sell real estate in any. If that is what they need to do, then it needs to. It happens in any kind of market. Yeah. That's not, yeah. This this information. It's not the market that's a problem. It's the situation. So, but if right. the situation of the buyer and the seller that this is something that they need to do for their life, then this is going to happen regardless of whatever else is happening. Whether it's a financial collapse, or it's you know nine eleven, or it's what we're doing dealing with now, or it's you know the dot com cl crash in two thousand. I mean, what about land sale? Is that like? A lot of land changing hands right now. You don't really need to see a vacant lot to buy. Uh, it. No, but I think that some people are waiting to see uh, for a second what happened. I think last week was a pause week. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think this week is more of like, okay. Yep. I set up my office at home. Yep. I got through all this stuff. The kids are situated. Okay, let me now get rid of the cobwebs. Let me just get back into what I'm doing. Yep. Maybe there'll be a few, op you know, some opportunities for people. Prices are still holding. Right. They have to come down. But there, and there are buyers and sellers in every marketplace. So it's us first. It's like, it's the human element of it. And then it's like, okay, you want to do this. Here's the plan to do it. And taking it, we're taking massive, massive action right now awesome. in order to facilitate transactions. So. Doing a great job. Um, 
Well, I mean, e even the marketing wise, for real, you know, like you're um, like a, a po poster child for marketing, you know, for, for a long time now, you know, real estate and, and beyond. So I give, I give you a lot of credit. It's like, you know, um, this is an unprecedented time. It's a weird time. Um, a lot of people are unsure about things, but just know that you don't have to like see the end of like the um, the road. You say it's a stormy road. You're driving back from Atlantic City. You you like you like Atlantic City, Maria? I do. Like going down the casino. Well, well you're coming I'm back from the casino. Person, but I like the uh, I like the concerts and things like that. There, I don't gamble, so. But okay. I, okay. Okay. Yeah. Not a gamble. Yeah. You know why I don't gamble? Why? Okay, so I'll tell you a story. About eight-ish years ago, no, longer, maybe 10, my husband now and I, he was we weren't married, but we were at the casino with uh, another couple. And it was maybe like, I don't know, it was late for me, so like 1.30 or something. And I said, okay, we both had $300. Mm -hmm. And I lost the $300 in like 10 minutes. And I went to look for him. I'm like, okay, go get some cash out of the machine. Yeah, like, right. And he goes, I said, where's your money? He's like, I lost it. I'm like, we lost $600 in 10 minutes. <laughs> so I said, okay, we're not getting yeah. any more cash. We are bad gamblers. We stink. I said, <laughs> so, oh. we stink at gambling. I said, so uh, we're not going to, the only way to get good is to practice. And since we don't, we're not, we don't have any time to practice, we just aren't going to gamble anymore. And that's pretty much the last time I gambled. Um, so better off. Yeah. That's my story because I can't practice it and I can't get good. I stink. I just don't, I'm not, uh, I'd rather go buy a pair of shoes for 300 bucks or whatever. Exactly. Although, although I have a lot of there's expensive shoes. I looked at them the other day and I went, huh. I just looked at the boxes and, it's better than gambling away. At least you got something to show for it. You know? Yeah, but I looked, I looked at the shoes and the bags and the stuff, and I just looked at it, and I didn't have much to say about it. And it's, I, I let it, it's like sitting with me. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know. You, you know, yeah. I'm not, I, I don't have a lot of material things right now. You know what I mean? But like if I had a whole pile of new Jordans, I would probably be pretty pumped and excited about that. So I think it's a, a good, uh, good situation. You're going to be happy to have, uh, well, I don't probably need all that stuff. I guess is what I was kind of getting to, but right, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, we were talking about you were saying about going to Atlantic City. Yeah, it's, it's like like an analogy I heard somewhere. You know, like say it's a stormy night, the visibility is really bad. You know how to get home from Atlantic City. You know you're yeah, gonna get home just straight fine. shot to Philly. Yeah, straight shot, but you can't see more than 10 feet ahead of you because it's downpouring rain, windy, crazy thunder and everything like that. But as long as you're paying attention to like that 10 feet ahead of you and you just stay between the lines, stay in your lane and like keep keep going, you're, you're going to get home. You don't need to see the end destination because right now nobody knows what that end destination looks like. So the news is changing every hour, you know, just kind of um, don't watch the news 24 seven, focus on on your your business and your life and your world because that's that's what what really matters you, you only want to worry about what you can control not what you can't control so that's like the best advice i can give people right now you know and you know what we never could control any of it no nah, right true true so uncertainty was always there you can't uh objection your way out of uncertainty right mm -hmm. Right. So if somebody has uncertainty, we it's always there. <clears throat> it's just there now in a different way because now it's like front face forward. It's right in our face. Right. But yep. it, it's always been there, right? Every day. Yeah. It's what's going to happen? Yeah. Don't what's take any happen? day for granted. You know, I think it's every. Yeah. No, exactly. Don't take it for granted. Right. Every day on this side of the grass is a good day. You know? But I think, when, you know, if you're running at like a month to month on your bills or every if you have uh, two or three months saved, you probably are looking at yourself saying, I probably, you know, my solution moving forward would probably 
probably to be to have a little bit more than that. Absolutely. I learned that. Absolutely. That's a, that's a fact. Because you, so, you, I've been watching Doomsday Preppers for years thinking it was a joke, but, you know, it's, they're, they're, they're sitting pretty right now. They were, they were ready for this. You know? They were ready. <laughs> so yeah. it's, being, it's being ready. It's being keeping a positive mental attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, and <clears throat> the reason why I started this being the, be the solution is because I wanted to help business owners, friends, agents, colleagues, family say, okay, during this time, we can be the solution because it's one person at a time. And if we all can have that mindset, how can we raise and help others up and give them a helping hand? I think that's really, it's a human element. That's what's really important. Probably the most important thing. Totally, totally. Yeah, I mean, like like you, I'm I'm all about bringing the community closer together and being here for people, um, and just keep keep your 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 circle tight. You know, it's hard to um, it's it's easy to stray stray the course or allow other people to bring you down. Like other people are just going to want to sit this whole thing out and you know commiserate with others about the situation and gossip and everything like that. But just try to align yourself with the, the, the forward thinking people, um, the leaders, and um, don't be afraid to reach out for help. You know, just like, don't, don't, don't feel like you're on an island somewhere. You know, there, there, there's people here for you, you know? Yes, that's important. Yeah. But people can raise their hand and say, I need help. Yeah. We're here, we're here to help them along the way. I've been talking to a lot of people, a lot of agents, um, and locally and, and nationally. And, you know, I see the upsetness in a lot of people. And, you know, I felt that way um, last week. I was, it was a tough week. But you, know, you have to keep, you know, pushing forward and let people know that we're here for them. Because we all, we all need someone to lean on, right? Totally. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think this is the best, like, you know, way to start off the whole be the solution campaign. I mean, you, that that's, you know, it, today's the, the kick in the ass, right? It's the, it's time to tell people like, let's, let's focus up, let's go, um, make, make it happen, make it work, get creative, you know, ask for help, tap into all these workshops, expand your mind, continue to, you know, think big, you know, cause this is, it's, it's our time, you know? Yeah, there's tons of webinars out there um, about what's going on. There's Facebook groups. There's I was on a a mastermind yesterday for several hours. Um, there's all kinds of information out there right now that people want to help and want to lend a helping hand. So, Josh, I thank you uh, very much for today for thank coming you. on and being my guest, and I am. Um, excited to see your next uh, Real Producer magazine. You'll send us, send it to all of us via digital. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Thank you. And um, hopefully, I can't wait to your next event. Yes, to be announced. June, June, in person event. We're hugging yes, again. Yes, <laughs> yes. I would, couldn't be more excited to be going to events. <laughs> I know it's 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 going to be there. It's going to be a good time, and um, I I can't I can't wait. Uh, we're only we're only getting warmed up. It's awesome. Well, it was great to see you. You too, Maria. Thank well, you. Have, have a great rest of the week and weekend. I'll see you soon. You too. Bye bye. Bye.